Hello and welcome to Star Trek is Life. In this video, we'll take a look at the culture of the Borg. This will be part two of our two-part series. If you haven't watched part one yet, please do that now. So in part one, we discussed how many Borgs there are, their philosophy, and what happened when they got injured. In this video, we're going to take a look at their standards for picking species as assimilation candidates, the Borg Queen, and Particle 010. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Borg drones ignored alien species until they demonstrated a potential to be a threat or a suitable candidate for assimilation. This extended even to taking no notice of people boarding their vessels. The drones went around their business so long as the intruders did not interfere. When addressing a small number of individuals, drones would simply attempt to assimilate them without comment. Before assimilating a larger population, such as a starship or an entire culture, the Borg would collectively transmit a standard announcement of their purpose and the futility of resistance. Species the Borg found unremarkable would be deemed unworthy of assimilation. As of 2374, the Borg considered the Kazon beneath their notice, and by 2376, they only took interest in the Brunali if they detected sufficiently relevant technology. Even examples of civilizations previously targeted for assimilation could be passed over. While moving to engage the dire threat to the Borg presented by species 8472, a group of Borg ships encountered Voyager. But while one ship did pause momentarily to scan the Federation vessel, the Borg ship and its companion ships quickly moved on without attempting to attack or assimilate the interlope in their space. On the rare occasions that the Borg were willing to open a dialogue with individuals, they chose a single drone to speak for the collective. Jean-Luc Picard was assimilated and given the name Locutus in the misguided assumption that such a representative would lower the Federation's resistance to assimilation. Catherine Drainway successfully negotiated a truce with the Borg and refused to discuss the terms via a neurotransceiver. The Collective agreed to communicate via Seven of Nine. The Borg Queen also spoke for the Collective, acting not as a mere liaison but as a physical manifestation of the Hive. The exact nature of her role is unclear. The Borg possessed a near reverence for Particle 010 which they considered to be an expression of perfection. The collective's fascination with assimilating this molecule has been compared to a religion. And that, my Star Trek of friends, is part two of our two-part series discussing the culture of the Borg. If you appreciate the information presented in this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. And remember, Star Trek is life.